What is up, YouTube? I last story from Team Arbord here, uh, bringing you Black Scent, um, a very well-known competitive map. Uh, let's start things off with uh, EU. Let's uh, talk about this push and how we can make it work to best of your benefit, especially as a team effort or even solo play. First of all, you need to know the names of all these rooms, and maybe I should make a new series uh, dedicated to explaining how we classify every one of these rooms. This room is called Pink Room. Why? Because, I don't know, <laughs> we just call it Pink Room. We've heard other people call it Pink Room. We all agree that it looks similar to Pink, so it's really easy to recommend, or to remember. Uh, so Pink Room it is. Um, with Pink Room, this is primarily a scopes position, obviously. For this reason, scopes like to play here, scopes like to play here, here, there. This is just mids for scopes, period. So is pink room. So, in order for you to see everything that's going on, you want to pay attention to this area. This is primarily a scopes territory, too. Yeah, sure, if a rifle gets in here, say you're heavily pushing a two site, you want to push a rifle up to the fridge, you can. Um, However, I would always recommend a scope coming here and just hanging out. Um, you know, halfway in, halfway out, one foot in, one foot out. Uh, just to kind of get that pick. If someone did, was an idiot and opened that door, came down these stairs, you know, a scope should be able to get this pick. And you should be able to provide pretty decent coverage and support. Plus, you're really close to Jen, so you want to be kind of in and out with this. So, say you get the pick there, just a few seconds, you could set up for the pick here. So... Um, definitely that is one strong huge portion of this map is having a good scope that you can trust to land these picks because I'll tell you if a scope can get two picks around you're most likely gonna win just to kind of show you what's going on here um, if you're planning on pushing this gen you need to push it as a group if you're not with your group that you can communicate with don't push it let them go um, you need to have communication to play this um, because you know, two people going left is just going to result in a collateral or two headshots. <laughs> and, you know, two people going this way doesn't really serve that great of a purpose either. Um, one person needs to pre-fire here and the other people need, two people need to come up here. And that one remaining person needs to stay on the bottom floor. The best thing you can do with this, um, this map is grenades. It's grenade central. Um, as I've previously stated, this entire wall is a nade. Nades can land anywhere in between there. So always, when you're running, you want to be looking up. Because some idiots like to run like this, practically. And it does nothing for you. Look up. Nobody's going to shoot you at Jen already. Just look up. And push in. Everybody shows you this area needs to be pre-fired by an MK if you have one on your team. If not, just a simple... You know in and out with a para and you need to have two teammates going up one teammate staying at the bottom so that makes three one scope back on dd or i'm sorry not dd freezers one scope at freezers and you know that last guy you can have push one is kind of like a split that one last guy is gonna be your lone wolf your strongest player of the team so that way he can go off and get his own picks um there's, no, there's not really any real reason why three people, you know, more than three people need to be in this gen. Um, there's not really anywhere I could tell you to specifically be. It's all situational. Obviously, if you see a scope here, don't peek him again. Um, you know, or here, don't peek him again. Have your lower level guy kind of, you know, come in. Kind of like this. Say the guy up here did see that scope and he's like, scope, you know, you, you, you know, cover, you know, whichever way it is. Um, as far as the push, this whole wall is wall. This whole wall is wall bangable. The entire thing is. Most people like to sit here. I was right on that pillar. <laughs> there you are. Okay. So these, obviously, these pillars are not wall bangable. But um, say you're pushing in here, what you really want to do is you kind of just want to, and then you get him lit up, and normally he's going to push back, and there you are. Um, you make too much noise, he'll peek this corner before you do, and he'll probably get you with pre-fire. 
Um, a lot of people like to sit back here. Not, not a bad spot, but not the best spot. Uh, so pushing in this way, you definitely need to be careful of these two areas. And scopes could always rotate in, be sitting there at around that headshot line. As far as pushing the other way, I highly don't really recommend it. Um, as I said, your scope will push up with you to here. Um, and wherever your other rifle was after you guys take this sight and get the picks, um, it's completely situational. Um, having a player push up here is not a bad idea because, you know, say he's like, okay, I got a headshot there, and he's here, oh, I got another headshot, and then he looks and he misses a shot. No big deal because you got so much nice coverage here. It's so hard to get pre fired through this. I mean, I rarely, rarely see people smart enough to do it. Normally they come all the way around and you could try and get that extra headshot or, you know, you could beat him around the corner. Um, this is a really nice spot. Um, you know, I see a lot of idiots, like, basically, this is as good as you are to the team when you're in this corner. I mean, you might as well look this way and just let them kill you because there's nowhere to hide. Yeah, this is, this is perfect cover right here, guys. Um, there's nowhere to hide. You know, oh, yeah, he'll never see me here. Guess what? He could still see your head. So I don't see what the point of, of playing in this area. Plus, it's a nade spot off this wall from there. So why even play here? I mean, makes no sense. Um, players have pushed up here, which could help. Um, 9 out of 10 times, you are going to get picked by a scope. So don't. Um, if anywhere, play inside the horseshoe, which is that's what it's called to us. Uh, jack in a box. You could play Jack in a box here. Reason why we call it Jack in a box. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, you know, boom. Um, I've even had people play back stairs. I've had people play behind this fence. Um, I don't believe... Yeah, I don't believe that that is well bangable. I think this pipe is, though. Yeah, the pipe is, but not both the fences. But you can shoot underneath there, so that's nice. So if you sit here, you can kind of hit them through the fence. So, I mean... This is really good cover, too, because, you know, it's really hard for them to realize that most people are trying to shoot you through the fence when they don't realize that you have to go under. But you have really good cover because they can't get you from there, and Vent would have to look immediately down, and still they have to wall bang you. Plus, you'll have other teammates, so that's a nice spot. Um, it's way better than these back stairs because I'll tell you, if you get rushed by two point men or two rifles here, you, I don't know. I don't see it happening. I see the probability of dying a lot greater than in that other spot. For the one push, uh, there's a few nice things I'd like to tell you guys. Um, first of all, stay away. Grenade spot. Scopes. I see you here all the time. I headshot you all day. Don't. Um, just stay away from there. If you can, go over here if possible. Taking warehouse is the most important part of the site one push. Um, and splitting in site one is important. Um, if you're not fast, if you don't have mob mobility or the spawns to do it, take a different route. Don't run all the way through the back of spawn from over there. You really just want to kind of, you know, meet up with your team however you can. Taking fridge, gaining map control, being very important to your team. Um, not just uh, pulling what we like to call a carrier where he's like this, waiting, you know, guarding our flank, I guess. You know, you don't want that on your team. You just want... You want usefulness and you want probability of picks. That's all you really want and map control. Um, again, this is a really nice nade spot. So it's not really complicated. There's no like, oh, this line with this line and, you know, six inches from this. No, it's this little X here. It's the, not that one, this one. So you pretty much line up on that and you just look for this right here. Pull it, uncrouch, throw. Hello, anyway. So if you look at it from that standpoint, um, you wanna toss that nade as soon as they pop that door. So as soon as that person at window hears, they're gonna go looking at that window and you're just, you if you're already here and waiting and you're just sitting here, you hear that door pop, you throw that nade, he looks, he dies. Simple as that. Um, I don't like opening this door at all unless I know we can outshoot the team completely. Um, it leaves you very available for picks. Um, 
I've seen a lot of scopes play here on defense, which is a really nice spot. Um, they can see your gun from window, but nobody really comes from there. Uh, they'll come from fridge, and I don't think they'll see you from here. So that's a nice spot to cover. But when pushing sight, you really don't need to pay attention to that anymore. So you go straight in. Watch for the guys playing the obvious spots. Um, just shot all of them. Um, some people like to play back here, but like I said, that's like a carrier spot. I don't know. It's not a great spot to sit. As far as the mid push, it's very, very unlikely. Um, we only do it really to troll or to prove a point. Um, so pretty much what you'll do is you'll run scope as if scope was pushing one, with another rifle is pushing one, and the three, instead of pushing gen, will push fridge. Uh, pretty much the control of this is that the scope's going to watch barrels. Uh, the... Uh, just two barrels so I guess he's gonna watch the main barrels from this point and you're gonna try and you first of all you're gonna want to check this area because this is wall bangable so you want to check this area see if you can headshot the guy here if he's there and you kind of just want to ease your way around and sweep the motion and you just want to kind of hug this wall if possible um, I like to smoke this area before this point um, just so that way I can get through here and only have to worry about this area. It's a little easier to deal with. Um, some people like to sit right here, this whole area here, and then you check here, you're good, you're good, push. Of course, not the whole team, that's like a one man thing. Um, someone's gonna try and take office, one person's watching six, one pushing person's up mid, one scope here, one person's in warehouse. It's just a really nice one push, that's all it really is. Um, not a lot of pros do it because it's really hard to beat them with that, but you know you might be able to catch somebody off guard. You know, it's really nice to uh, do different things instead of push the same site. The whole point is keeping people uh, confused about the matter. So that's definitely the biggest perk that you can have as a team is to um, confuse your enemy to make your lives a little bit easier to do certain things. The ironic part about most sites on a competitive scale is the defensive offense positions are the same as the defensive defensive positions. Um, I don't really like to play anybody here. It's really, it's really hard to play here because a lot of people are developing new next-gen strats. So people are less predictable than they used to be. So pretty much this is my favorite spot um, to sit. Uh, this is my second favorite, second favorite, they have to, they kind of like tie into each other. Um, I like to peek here, I like to play passively here, um, let them all come in and light them up. You know, it's just, I don't know, I, I really like the Site 2 coverage. This is the easiest way for me to throw this nade. Uh, it's just nice, I believe it blows up midair for those people. Oh, nope, there it is. See what I was telling you? This whole wall is a problem. But regardless of that, um, I already told you don't play there. You really want to pay attention to um, having sight controlled, meaning you have somebody watching vent, making sure that they don't have just a point man rushing straight in. Um, you want to have somebody playing here because he's going to watch this door. Remember, if you have a person watching vent, it's very important that they're watching vent from an angle that won't counteract the other guy there. So if your guy's playing here, have him move to here. Because um, he can hear people running that way. Most people aren't really quiet from coming in through front door over there. I'm sorry, front door and there's back door. And uh, I like to play here. It's really nice. And I already showed you my other spot. Um, whenever I push gen, I'm normally a point man. Uh, if I'm rifle, I will always try and get this nade off just to try and get that, you know, just stop them for a second. Stop them in their tracks so I can try and take this from them. That's the goal. Controlling this is controlling site two. If they can't get gen, they aren't going to push two. They just can't. So if you have one guy in here the entire round, Guess what? They're going one. Rotate. Rotate some of your guys over there because they ain't taking this back. A good player should be able to hold this on their own. Period. Um, 
you know, there's always good places to sit, you know, where scopes can't really see you without crouching and looking up, which they normally don't. Um, other than that, that's pretty much site two. Uh, I have a little bit of time to show you mid here, which is going to be relatively simple. This door does not open, not by your hands, not by defense. Do not open it. Do not try and get picks in mid. They could flood it and you let them in the office. They can go wherever the fuck they want. Don't. Um, obvious nade spot, nade spot. This whole thing's a nade spot. So you have to be very cautious when you're playing here. You're really here for just sound. Uh, hearing fridge and hearing certain things. You don't ever really want to peek here. You'll get picked by scopes. It's just an issue overall. With site one, I already showed you um, that people like to sit here. It's a very nice offensive way to play this site. Um, my personal preference is here. Anywhere, here, 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 and there. I will rotate between all those positions. Depending on what, you know, if I figure out their pushing time. If I'm late on the push, I'm like, fuck, I hear them coming, nobody's coming, I'm on my own. And I'll sit here, and the first guy that opens that door gets headshot, and I try and peek the other guy here, and I try and shut that door ASAP. Just get a couple picks and back out. Um, rarely will I ever peek here. Um, just to kind of be like, all right, scope's in mid, um, you know, or, you know, I'll try and fight the guy in fridge if it's not a scope. This is a nade spot. This is a nade spot. This is a nade spot. Uh, this is a nade spot. Everything in this site can be naded. So I like to stay out here where it's, you know, unlikely that they'll nade. Um, scope's play back here, which is ironically stupid. Um better spot would be here or there preferably over there um, really only one person should be at one and three should be at two and one should be mid on this um, because you should be able to call the rotate plenty of time because if they're going to rush a site you're going to fucking know it um, it's just all about calling out and having microphones and doing things the right way um, I see a lot of pro players playing scopes here because they can get that pick here they can get the pick here um, they watch this whole area, and when they get into trouble, they're gone. They're gone. Um, you know, they're just right here, and they can go in sight and cover that back door. They can come up here and cover this area and get, you know, pick after pick after pick here, which is really, 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 really nice. Um, other than that, that's pretty much your general fundamentals of the map. Um, I showed you a few nade spots. I believe this is one of my one of my nasty nade spots as I like to call them where that nade goes in there which I hope I have enough time to show you let me see go 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 the nastiest nade you'll ever see if I ever play mid but still it's very fun to know these nade spots and I'm glad to share them with you um, other than that, guys, this has been Black Scent, and, you know, I hope you appreciate it. I hope you love it. Uh, let me know if you want more. Uh, give me suggestions on maps. Give me suggestions on what you need, and I'll be sure to provide them for you. Again, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks, guys. Peace.